guys, welcome to M3 Wood. You guys are gonna watch a video uh, that we shot a couple days ago. Um, it's called Bingo, Bango, Bongo. We did a three hole uh, match. Uh, Adam and myself played and uh, we kept track of score, kept track of points. We'll get all that information to you later. But uh, watch the video, hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you on the course. All right, while Chad's setting up, we're getting ready to do a little three mini course vlog, three holes. Um, where we do a little bingo, bango, bongo. Um, this will give you looks of 7, 8, and 9 in Timber Ridge. 7, 8, 5, really long, really straight. Looks like Chad just played that fade perfectly right over those trees and back into the fairway. All right, so we're at Chad's ball right now. Um, he's probably a little over 200 away, don't you think? So in playing bingo, bango, bongo, it doesn't really matter necessarily what you score on the hole. It more matters when you get to the green, how close you get to the pin, and when you make your putt. And he picked that super clean and straight. He might be on. Are you on? So that right there, folks, there is your first I point. I, I don't know if I stayed on, but it rolled up onto the green. But if he's on, that's bingo right there. He's first to the green. Good shot. Adam's probably got about 200 yards out as well. What do you got? I have a six iron. Six iron? Good six iron there. It's gonna be on the left side of the fairway and it's not really moving much, so it's gonna be down there. He'll be inside 100 yards, easy. So right here, I don't know if you can see it, Chad's ball's right in the middle of the green. He is probably maybe 15, 10 to 15 feet away, um, sitting there for an eagle putt, which is quite amazing. Um, it's just a great shot that he hit there with his hybrid. He's probably got, I would say, maybe like 40 yards, 45 yards left. And he's trying to hit it inside my ball. You can kind of see where mine is. Hit a four iron hybrid for my second. So hit that one pretty high. Uh, it's gonna roll out though. So this is Adam's birdie putt. And if he can make this, he would get a point. Yep. Right now, I've got two points. So he's trying to get this. So he can get one point. Rolled that one, just not high enough. Pace probably was pretty good. So now I've got this for Eagle. He makes this, he gets the third point for being the first one to go in the hole. Oh. Oh. So that'll be a tap in for a birdie. That's my dad. So Chad walks off up two to one. And if you oh haven't God. seen yet, we're filming with kids. All right, so Chad is up two to one. Uh, he won bingo and bango on the last hole. This is now par three, hole eight. Uh, probably one of the tougher, most iconic holes on Timber Ridge. What club do you have, Chad? Five, five iron. This hole probably plays about 180. hit that really well, just might have pulled it a little bit to the left. It's going to give himself a pretty good chip. Alright, uh, Adam, what club do you have? A six iron. Yep. Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? Like this. Struck that well. It's headed right at the middle. Middle of green, I'm guessing. Oh, it just came up a little short. Uh, we do have some wind in our face. You probably can hear it, so I'm sure that had something to do with that. Let's see what he does. Chip 
put that one up safely. It's gonna release down. That'll turn out really good, actually. It's above the hole, but it's coming back a little bit. Good shot. Okay, so here's Chad. He's just off the green. He can put it inside my ball. He will actually get a point. See, his son is right there to the right of him. It's just stayed short. All right. So if Chad makes this, he takes the third point. And we tie go into the last hole. Oh, just stayed up. All right, so Adam's got this left to take all three points on this hole. <laughs> it's the yeah. joy of hole eight. Yeah. Well, at least I get this chance to try and take the third point still. Yeah. Good roll. Oh, sucks. Never missed the green. Okay, so here's Chad. He's currently down four to two, so he needs to do some work here. It's a whole nine. Straight over four. Looks like he played the fade. Have a good shot at, uh, going into the green. All right, Adam's up. Looking to crush it here. Hit a good drive. It's a little lower, but it's going to hit the fairway and just kind of run out. So it'll be down there. All right, so here's Chad. Chad, how far are you out? It says 100. 100's right there. Yeah. You might be just inside, but... I scoped it at set 101. Okay, what are you hitting? Uh, I got my 50 degree. Okay, so he needs to put this on the green to get a point. Looks like it's right at the green, right at the pin. A little deep. Oh, that's a good shot. Got to sit though. I think we both rolled off the back, unfortunately. Gives you a chance though. So you can see right there is my ball, just on the rough. Um, missing out on a point and sealing the victory by just that much. Missed it by that much. So Chad is right back here. This will be an interesting shot for him. He's got some trees to deal with. What are you gonna hit here, Chad? I got my seven iron. Seven iron, he's gonna try and keep it low. Okay, so he's gonna try and run this, and hopefully get to stop on the green and get a point. Played it out to the middle, needs it to stop, stop. Just rolled off. So if he plays this onto the green, he still gets a point. He's just on the fringe. Counts as a point. Got a point. All right, so here's Adam. Good roll. I'm gonna come up just a little short. Good putt. Here's Chad. Got to put it within my ball to get the second point. And he did just that. Here comes the rain. Good putt. Good win. Just getting out of the rain, just in time. Good job. Hey, hey, maybe your club is over there. Go get it. Yours is over there, Abe. Further off than my ball, right over there. There goes my son.